We're in the kitchen with Dana, and today we're going to cook and make sweet little strips of barbecued pork strips. These are going to be able to go over a bed of rice or a bed of pasta or with potatoes. My kids love them, and I want to show you how easy they are to make. It's three-step easy. Cut that onion up, and I'm going to transfer it into a pot. For the sizzle, I placed one tablespoon of olive oil in the pot, and I'm going to let these sweat it out. It's on low heat, and I will let them cook till they're a little bit soft. It'll just take a couple minutes. And then I'm going to add the pork strips that I'm going back to cut and prepare right now. Add a dash of pepper, and now I'm going to add this meat and strips into the pot. The purpose is just to lightly brown these little strips of meat. And look, I've left a little bit of fat on these thin cut center pork chops, but that's okay. I need that little bit of residual fat to cook down. As this simmers down, it will brown, and then we will transfer it over to the gourmet cooker from 360 by Americraft, and it will cook for about two hours with a little bit of barbecue sauce. I'll show you in one minute. Transferred everything into my gourmet cooker, my 360 by Americraft. This is a four-quart cooker. And you can see I've just lightly sauteed these to the point that they're not no longer pink. What I'm going to do now is actually add in my barbecue sauce that I've added water to. I like this recipe because when I get down to a bottom of a bottle of barbecue sauce, I add liquid. Now I'm cooking these on a setting two because whenever you cook on a setting two, less tender cuts of meat will become the most tender when they're cooked on this setting. And this actual setting is between six to 10 hours of cooking. It'll slow cook and the water will make this delicious. Water vapor cooking. See, I've cleaned this bottle out with water and I can go a little bit more and I've only put enough water in to cover the meat. This will cook and we will have dinner tonight. This is In the Kitchen with Dana.